Cherokee 274 DBH at 6,220 pounds, half ton towable, easily, here at Hale at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And Cherokee is Forest River's number one selling travel trailer. So if at any point you'd like to see how it's equipped or the specific price tag we have on the one that we have in stock because it could be different from what we have in this video. You're one click away from answering questions like that. Also, total length, uh, tank capacities. It says check for price and availability. You're one click away from answering that right there. Um, so, you know, those are important questions, but a lot of those things you can handle yourselves, you know. Um, everybody, everybody, everybody has a floor plan like this. So why is it? This is one of the most popular floor plans. Why is this one still so darn popular? And why is the Cherokee so darn popular? It, you know, like I said, it's Forest River's number one selling travel trailer. For a couple years in a row, it didn't just happen once. It's It keeps happening. Um, that's what I'm going to hit on this video. And it's detailed, little smart stuff. Like the fact that they treat their lumber here in the baggage door so that if this is open and there's uh, moisture, humidity, or you got to get into it in the rain real quick, this baggage door jam is not going to rot on you. You see it's a nice wide door so you can actually get big cargo in there nice and easily. Uh, these are solar prep but that seems to be dime a dozen so I'm not going to spend I'm not going to spend a lot of time on things everybody does. I'm going to show you the things where this is great. Uh, like a lot of guys have uh, a power awning. This is an easy tilt power awning with this cool neon blue lighting outside. It's going to make your campsite glow like crazy tonight. It's super cool. This is a very unique thing the way that they have an extra thick. It's a 250% Thick, uh, thicker rather, aluminum nose sweep. A lot of people look at this and go, oh, it's got that fiberglass bullet nose. It's actually an extra thick aluminum. The reason they do that is it's uh, stronger structurally. It is also uh, not going to get chalky like fiberglass can uh, if, if left uh, untreated in the sun for too long. So this is something that you can just be hands-free with a little bit longer and it'll continue to look great. Um, it also, the whole nose is now stone deflecting and it fights concavity from headwind. So it's not going to get buckled in. You have to really go out of your way to screw it up. That's what I'm getting at. Power tongue jack, easy stuff like that. Outside utility shower here so you can hose the kids off or, I don't know, clean a fish or anything like that, you know. Um, we do like to enclose the tanks on our Cherokee trailers. And uh, what that'll do for you is, uh, like, there's different, you can, like, do different uh, underbelly equipment packages and stuff. You know, each trailer in our lineup forms a different purpose. It has a different role. Um, our Cherokee campers form that good soldier family class, uh, you know, well-equipped, super reliable sort of camper thing. This is, you know, for the people that work for a living and when the kids are in school, maybe we don't get to go out as much. So we see this as a spring, summer, fall camper. This is not like a crazy winter use camper. Um, so by just enclosing the tanks, what that does is it helps for critter prevention, which is nice. But if you do get a cold snap in the spring and the fall, it's enough protection to get you through worry-free. You know, if you're gonna go winter, winter camping, frankly, almost any trailer you should take supplement measures with. So this, you're, you're spending exactly the money you need and not wasting money on stuff you don't. Uh, smart equipment features, like I said, a good reliable brand Cherokee with the seal gripping slide walls. Pulls that slide seal all the way in or out. And they were one of the very first to adopt that really across the board so that we didn't, uh, you know, have to worry about slide seals getting crimped halfway in or out and causing water penetration that way. The rear storage tray back here, what that does for us is it gives you a place to bring... I don't know the hard number, but somewhere between 200, 250 pounds of extra stuff for the kids. Uh, great place for the bicycles on a bunkhouse like this, by the way. And you do not need to take that spare tire off to put that up and down. Spare tire actually is an option, not standard. That's one of those relics from years ago in the RV business that uh, I guess Cherokee's just held on to. I didn't even realize it for the longest time. And all of a sudden I started noticing we, we had an addition for spare tire on these. Kind of like, um, kind of like medicine. You know, you have a medicine cabinet in your house. You have cough medicine and stuff in there. You never hope to need it, but sometimes you do. And this is a big deal. This will shut your day right down if you don't have one of those. So we like to make sure you're covered. Now, uh, before we scoot up too far, a little detail stuff like triple entry steps on both doors is nice. And Cherokee uh, is one of the reasons these 
friction hinge doors that you can just heave open like that so it doesn't slam against the side of the trailer. These guys seriously are the reason that those became such an industry popular thing because they busted into the market with it like crazy. Uh, foot flush pedestal stool here so that you uh, you know don't have to have your face near your business. And having this right here cuts down on so much foot traffic going in and out of your camper so that you just don't have to worry about it. Plus, We've got the nice deadbolt door here so that uh, I mentioned the last time, other than a bear, you shouldn't have problems with people getting in and out of your camper. At least not in a reasonable amount of time. If if someone is going to come through this door when it's deadbolted and you're there, you, you should probably have time to finish your business and get out of there and out of that door before they can crowbar their way through that thing. Again, like a spare tire. I hope none of that comes to pass. I really need to work on being more positive in my scenarios. Um, I talked about the cool blue LED light. Uh, this is an easy tilt awning, two fingers, you can go and crank it down. Now if you want to run it in, you forget like that. Uh, hey Brian, how you doing sir? Um, you can, uh, it'll roll itself right back in basically. You don't have to tilt it back one way or the other. Um, outside entertainment zone right here. This is super cool. Um, first of all, I just, these are neat. It goes right along with your awning, but you've got backlit blue LED lit speakers here. They're not, these aren't like really cascading light in your campsite. They just look sweet at night. Um, and they are marine grade, so you know, they're fine. But, uh, Generally, we don't tend to equip TVs in our Cherokee campers because I can get you the same or better TV for the same or less money at the big box store of your choice. Now, one TV can mount out here, can mount in the living room, can mount in a couple different places on Cherokee campers. And this kind of thing. Cherokee finds a way to do it better, different, to come up with cool original ideas in a class that has been done to death for years. So this, they came up with this mini camp kitchen. W what it is, is up here, this chunk of the countertop underneath here, it's a cabinet space that's really awkward to try to utilize from an interior design standpoint. So they came up with a way to bring that space outside. And this is neat because normally you can't have outside kitchen facilities in this floor plan. The, the question for folks is either, do you want the bathroom entry door or do you want an outside kitchen? Because you can't have both unless you go with a longer, heavier, ex more expensive trailer. Well, bam, for like a little bit of no money, they figured out a way around it. So you've got your little cooktop. You've got what I call the dog bowl style sink. Now this is a second outside shower. It does have hot and cold water with a little mount right there. So this combination of things is sort of like your outside sink. And of course we have oh, dad's medicine cabinet. How you doing Petey? That's what I call him. I call him Petey. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Moving inside. Bigger entry handle never hurts either. Uh, all right. This is called the natural mink decor. And I've joked about this before, but that name at this point, I swear, they're just throwing darts at a spinning board of words and coming up. Natural, as opposed to what? Digital mink? Artificial mink? It's brown, people! Do you want brown or browner? Because that's that's what these things come with today. Brown or browner. And if you're crazy lucky, you'll get a gray. So, uh, just like outside, we've got some cool blue accents uh, inside here. And those are actually under the countertop as well. What's neat about that, between the counter lights and the slide lights, one, it looks neat, but two, it's the perfect night light. It lights up the uh, RV just enough to get to the bathroom and the fridge at night. Now, you see that we obviously have a very aggressive lighting package otherwise, especially here in the kitchen. We'll get back to that, um, the, the, the new and improved Cherokee Super Kitchen, but they've, they've really done a nice job. Lights and windows in the RV business, kids, are super expensive. Well, they got big windows, and we got lots of lights in a family class camper. These little things, I'm pointing out, all these little things together are the reason Cherokee is one of the very best selling travel trailers uh, in history, frankly. And they've been a top five brand for God knows how many consecutive years. These guys are in the mix in the single most competitive market segment in the business. It's very impressive. You see a lot of people have these little fold down uh, theater style sofas now, again, you can thank Cherokee for that. They were first to market with that last year. Now all of a sudden everybody's going, oh man, we're getting murdered off that little couch armrest. We better start copying that. Thanks Cherokee. Thanks for making uh, the RV business a little bit better. Um, you're seeing uh, more USB ports all over the place now. Again, Cherokee is one of the first to popularize that. Um, you'll find USB plugs, those double plugs here. You're going to find one 
for each bunk with household outlets. So each sleeping space has household outlets and those. Both sides of the bed have a double USB plug and household outlets. They both have both. That's cool. Um, we also have a big seven foot sleeper here in the way of this King U dinette. This can fold down to an extra long bed for additional sleeping, though with your double double bunks, you probably won't need too much. But something that we did in one of the multiple upgrade bundles that we have on this thing, I think it's a limited package, is we give it these full extension, full access mega drawers. Now you see this 5 8 plywood. That's what we're walking on too, kids. This is a 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood, heavy duty stuff. 4x8 OSB sheets, which don't get me wrong, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. This type of flooring, 5 8 tongue groove plywood deck flooring, has simply been proven to be stronger, last longer, be more problematic. It's a stronger foundation for a stronger house. I, every, don't get me wrong, I don't necessarily believe in the absolute perfect RV. I don't, guys. But, for the number of these things they crank out, for the number that we sell, the few we see back with little paltry problems, I'm very impressed, frankly. Uh, with, I mean, it's very impressive. Now, again, glass in the RV business. Good glass costs money, and they give you nice windows on both bunks. You've got the privacy curtains to close this off. What is actually cool about this is they actually have a separate curtain for just up top or a full curtain for everywhere. They really kind of segregated that neatly. I've never seen that done exactly like that. Um, here in the bathroom, we've got a couple nice things. We've got a bigger Max Air fan up here so that you can really push some airflow through this camper uh, or pull air, as it were. Open all, you know, open these huge mega breathing windows right here. Kick that big whole house fan on. It'll pull the hot air that we breathe and create simply by existing out of this slot, blow it out of the camper to keep this thing uh, nice and cool on those spring and fall camping afternoons. My, fall camping's my favorite. So this is one of those things I look at and go, oh my God, I would use this thing to death. Now, not just the bigger fan, but also a nice skylight. So they're not trying to cheat to put this above that. They're giving you both to give you extra light in here with protective shower wall surround paneling so we don't water damage our walls. Um, and, uh, you know, I talked about the foot flush stool. All countertops, whether it's the dining table, the kitchen counter, this thing, they're all a sealed edge pressed membrane countertop here with big sinks that adults can actually get their hands in and the biggest in-class medicine cabinet so you can keep your countertop space free of stuff because in a bunkhouse with a bunch of people, yeah, I can promise you that you've got stuff. Now let me back up here and we'll come back to this. We're going to hit on what is uh, being dubbed as the Cherokee Super Kitchen. And while... I don't know that that name is necessarily like um, a marketing original or anything, super in front of a word, but I, I do think it's appropriate. They've done an extremely good job, again, dressing up something that's been around for a long time. First of all, oh my gosh, pantry. With a real door, Batman, with a really big door in here that you can actually get into. So it's not a toothpick one where you have to reach, you know, sideways here like your Kung Fu master or Stretch Armstrong. Do people remember Stretch Armstrong? Because I don't forget random. I'm like a weird trivia nerd like that. Anyway, uh, Mr. Fantastic for you kids, the guys with the stretchy arms, my point, is you've got a real pantry that a real person can use on a real day-to-day -day basis. It's just nicer. Now it's cool, they standardized this door construction and you see the same door being used to get you in and out of mom and dad's side. You have not even just sliding pocket doors. One step better, you have real bedroom doors with real bedroom door hardware. How cool is that? And again, they slot and vent those doors to allow air exchange and airflow so you don't sweat to death at night. Um, I talked about that waterproof countertop stuff. Neat side effect of that when your water or countertop is waterproof, when your waterproof is countertop, ugh, um, is you can undermount the sink and they've recessed the stove to give you good countertop space in a small space that otherwise wouldn't have it. Once again, they have made every square inch of their trailer as combed as possible in Cherokees to give you multiple use. Uh, out of the same amount of space. 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. Now finishing up their super kitchen, we've got the big skylight here with a little sunshade uh, to give you tons of ambient light again. They've gone with the beveled glass doors here just to help uh, break up the look and not be so flat and boring. And then they've added tons of lighting in here and even gone to a double LED stovetop light on this stainless little job right here. 
That is cool! I've looked around at luxury fifth wheels. I've not seen another one yet doing the double LEDs like this. I can promise you that they will soon. But, again, Cherokee is the one who's beating everybody to market. They're beating top-end fifth wheel manufacturers to the market with some of these features. How cool is that? <laughs> um, and a shoe garage. And again, the day-to-day -day utility stuff still here. Walk in the door. Instead of having a big ugly pile of shoes by the door like your old bunkhouse you currently have probably has, you've got a place to put your shoes to get them out of the way. So it just helps control that clutter. Uh, I love the little reclaimed barnwood look here. And you notice it actually goes all the way behind. It goes all the way down. They didn't just put a cheap panel up. They did the whole wall that way. Um, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player. Entertainment needs are pretty much handled. Now you notice this little hole right here through the wall. That allows you to run cables on both sides of this wall so that you can have uh, mom and dad's separate TV up here if you want instead of just this TV. The reason that they don't do a spinner is because that sacrifices privacy. They tried it in years past and they just got enough complaints about it. They said, no, we're just going to leave it like this, but we will give you a place to run a TV through there if you want your cords. They've done a nice job of dressing up some pretty sharp bedding here as well. Um, that is something I like. And they've included these cool lights right here. Tap once. For a blue reading night light tap again for a nice bright spotlight and uh, again more led lights here in the bedroom we've got huge i mean big windows letting in lots of light here and they've done a again a nice light dark contrast to make the small space feel really not so claustrophobic i don't do well in small spaces i've closed the doors i've laid on this bed i've pretended i'm using it they did it they did the job right i don't feel like I'm, uh, I'm gonna suffocate in this little thing. They've done such a good job at so many things. And that, my friends, is why Cherokee is one of the very best selling trailers on the market. And in point of fact, is Forest River's very best selling travel trailer on the market for several years running. So, give us a call, take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone, 800-256-5196. We do trades, we do hitching, pieces, parts, financing, RV delivery, truck and trailer package deals. We only do everything. And I don't care where you live. We can put together a quote to ship this to your front door. And there's a reason we ship these things to Florida, California, Texas, and Maine with regularity. We're aggressive and we make deals happen. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.